Well, let's now get more perspective on what's being discussed today at that summit with somebody who's got a huge amount of experience on what goes on there in Brussels, veteran Marta Andresen. She's an MEP from the UK Independence Party. Uh, surely the idea of enforcing fiscal control is logical, isn't it, given that it's overspending that got Europe into this mess in the first place? Well, this is true, but uh, the issue is that when Greece was brought into the Eurozone, uh, the European Commission, the European Union knew perfectly well that they didn't meet the requirements in regards deficit and in regards debt. And uh, they didn't do anything about this. They just wanted the country to come in. And uh, they have been given a lot of money to, to Greece without any control on how it was being used. It was supposed to be used to grow its economy, but it hasn't grown the economy. And now they are asking them to cut on wages, to cut on uh, public sector jobs, and to cut, make many cuts. But, you know, you don't turn around the economy from one day to the other. It's only austerity measures that they talk about, but they don't talk about growth. But why, why won't those austerity measures work then? Well, because uh, the growth is important. You know, Greece has not uh, expanded its industry and uh, they need to grow their economy in some way. By cutting on expenditure, they will not grow their economy. And uh, they should have invested the money they got from the EU during all these years, which they didn't invest properly. But, you know, it is the European Commission to blame here because they didn't control how they were using their money. They need, the, they need to find a way to grow their economy. And basically, I see that the only way out for them is growing the tourism, for which they would need to devalue their currency. You're from the UK Independence Party. Let's talk about Britain's stance here. The economy there, of course, is uh, certainly in trouble, certainly affected by the economic slowdown there in Europe. Isn't it time that uh, Britain does indeed support its Eurozone parties now, its partners, I should say, now? Well, uh, the UK is going through a crisis as well, no doubt about this. But uh, the present government has taken measures to deal with this crisis. And we have to see what the effects are going to be. But, you know, they are implementing measures which are uh, similar to the ones that are being requested from Greece, though not to the extent, of course. Uh, so I think... Uh, the UK has to be careful because they could follow the way Greece is going. So they have to be careful. But we have to be give them the time to implement the measures that have been designed by this new government. I think much more has to be done. I also think that uh, the situation in the different member states in the European Union will affect the UK. Uh, UK uh, even in the UK. UK concerned very much about the reaction from the people in those European states who are obviously suffering under these austerity measures. Protests we're reporting today across the whole of Europe. A lot of many angry people out there. Will governments listen to the martyr? And if they don't listen, what happens next? Well, um, governments are, you know, sort of uh, in a very difficult situation because they have to abide by the rules imposed by the European Union, or let us say by Germany, and they have to abide also or take care of what the people are saying in the streets. But eventually the money comes from the European Union. So uh, the power lies in the European Union to put pressure on the countries, on the member states, to comply with the austerity measures. Now, obviously, you can do as much as you can do. And some countries, like Greece, are on the verge of collapsing. They have already lost their sovereignty. They are losing their pride. You know, there is not much more that can be asked from, for Greece. And other countries will follow. And I think the UK should learn the lesson from this. Interesting to hear your thoughts. Marta Andresen, member of the European Parliament uh, from the UK Independence Party, thank you indeed for your time. Thank you.